welcome back to Camping with Emmy, Home and Camper Renovations on a Budget. If you are new to our channel, my husband Rick and I created this video series on restoring our 1999 Coachman Camper, and we did a complete restoration of it, and if you're interested, please check out those videos. I would like to show you my beautiful flowers from my garden. The glads I picked yesterday and the rest I picked today. And I think that they're just beautiful and I wanted to share them with you. Now for today's video, I am going to be making over an old dresser that I found at my local thrift shop for $65. And this is going to be for my 13 year old granddaughter, Lily. I am going to be painting it and adding new hardware and sprucing it up and making it look and feel a little bit more modern and befitting for a sweet young girl of 13. So without further ado, let's get started. Oh, well, first of all, I'd just like to show you, give you a little bit of a close up of the shape that this dresser is in. Now the top of it, as you can see, is kind of worn and scraped up in several places, but that's really not going to matter because it's all going to be covered up. But I just wanted you to get kind of an idea of how this looks before we get started. We'll get a nice before. And here's the side. One thing that I would like to show you is, which I think is really nice and also shows the quality of this furniture is these drawers have, a, have dovetail joints and that's always a really nice feature to have because you know that it's quality built furniture. And the other thing that this piece of furniture has that's really nice, I'll take this drawer out so that you can see it, is it has wooden sliders not plastic, cheap plastic that you find in a lot of today's furniture or even metal. Even the sliders are made of wood. So that's why I thought it was really worth it to, to buy this piece of furniture and to refinish it. First, I will be, re be removing all of the old hardware. Next, I will be taking this crud cutter and I will clean this piece of furniture really, really well. for today's product is Rust-Oleum chalk paint and the color that I chose is coastal blue. I think this will be a very very lovely color on this dresser. Now this color I did have to have mixed. I bought this at my local Menards and I used the dark tint base in order to get that color and it was only $18.99 which I think is a very reasonable price. I can't wait to get started painting this dresser. Thank you. 
project all day long, only to discover that it, by the end of the day, it did not turn out the way that you had imagined it in your mind. I'm sure you have. We all have. Well, that's what happened with this project. Um, it, it did not turn out the way that I had hoped it would. Uh, there was two issues. The first one being, this is the color that it sh on the stick that the can shows that this color should be. And this is what it dries to. And it's, it's several, several shades lighter blue, and it isn't what I want. This is the color that I want. So that's the first issue that I had. The second issue I had was, there appears to be some sort of oil of some sort that, has, that is on this finish, and it bled through the chalk paint. And what I'm gonna have to do now is go back over this and you know, <laughs> and he wants to lick the paint stick. <laughs> I need to go over this. And so I'm going to use um, some, some pills and I'm going to paint everything and try, and hopefully this will cover up whatever's going on here with the, <clears throat> this oily finish that's coming through the paint. And I'm gonna go and get some different paint mix because I really do want this to be a darker color blue. So <laughs> on to plan B. I just wanted to give you a close-up to show you what I was talking about regarding this oily substance that bled through the chalk paint. This is what it looks like. store and I picked up some new paint. I thought I would try Joanna Gaines Magnolia Homes since I have not used this paint before and it is made by Kills so I'm thinking that it's probably going to be a really nice paint. The color that I chose is called the Silos District. the dresser in all of the drawer fronts and this helps to protect the paint and make it so you can dust it and wipe it down if you need to. So I just take an old clean sock and dab a little on and then I just rub it in in a circular motion like this and I cover the whole area really well. And then I wait between three and five minutes after I have this put on. And then I just take the cleaner side of my old sock and I just lightly buff it like this. And then this helps it to, so that you get a nice even finish of wax on your piece. I'm using um, Amy Howard's Chalk Teak Light Paste Wax. I've had this for probably six or seven years and I still have a lot in here. So a little bit of this goes a long way, but personally, I really like this product. 
I used some old English scratch cover to, to cover up any scratches that might be in this original wood finish on the skirting below. So I just took a clean sock and dabbed some on and just went over the whole surface like this to cover up any scratches or scrapes that might be in the wood. And it also gives it a nice little bit of a shine as well. I am adding a coat of clear polyurethane in a water-based finish and in a matte finish. I will probably do two or three coats. renovation was actually space. A few years ago my granddaughter Lily was here for with us for the weekend and she had found a scrap pile of two by fours out in our garage from a project that we had been working on and asked if she could have a few pieces. And so what she did was she went upstairs to the craft room and she got out my paints and this is what she created which I thought was absolutely adorable. So when I decided to choose a dresser for her. I wanted to choose a nice blue color that kind of reminded me of the colors in space. And I really think that the hardware that I chose for this will be perfect for a 13 year old girl because it, it really updates this dresser and makes it look more modern. And I'm also glad that I kept the, the skirting to the dresser original. And I, I just think it looks nice to have um, a little bit of the original part of the dresser um, still there. And I think it makes it look really unique. We have lived in our current home for three and a half years now. And during that time, I've been able to renovate several rooms in the home. However, I still have several more to go. So coming up next is going to be my video series on my craft room renovation. So. Also, I'd like to add that my granddaughter Lily absolutely loved the dresser and that's really all that matters is that she loves it. However, I think it turned out really cute too. Um, I'd like to mention that I have Crohn's disease and so I'm not able to upload content weekly. However, I will be able to upload content fairly often. So I would just like to say to any one of you out there that's suffering from any kind of an autoimmune disease, or if you have a loved one or someone that does, please know that, and that I'm sending out good positive vibes and energy to all of you. Um, with an autoimmune disease, you have good days and you have bad days. You have highs and lows and ups and downs. And all we can do is the best that we can every single day. And that's what I do. So thank you all so much for watching. It means so much to me. And um, I will see you all soon. Goodbye.